Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Ace Money and this is Sportsbook Robbery. WNBA playoffs are finally here. They're tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Sunday. Sure, they're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of views since football's on. It don't make much sense to me. But uh, I got a couple player props. Uh, I found some good plus money plays. As always with plus money, be careful. Uh, I usually do a half unit. Just because they're harder to hit. Uh, but let me get into these. Uh, Brittany Laney Hamilton, three pointers over one and a half. Uh, 152 on uh, FanDuel. If you got Ben MGM, it's up to plus 160. Uh, this line was uh, odds were higher in the week. Um, she did real good for the year and then she was out for a while. Uh, you could play a points line, might be safer. They got a nine and a half. But uh, for the plus money, I'm going to jump with it. Uh, Clay is 48% for the year. Shooting 42% for the year at three point. Uh, she's exceeded one and a half three pointers in seven of her last nine games versus the bottom five defense for threes. They're playing Atlanta. Uh, New York's the one seed. Atlanta was ninth overall, three points allowed. Uh, let's see what she did head to head. Head to head, every time they've played, she's cleared it. Uh, it's three times this year. So, yeah, like I said, a little half unit. Uh, if you spend a lot of money per unit, uh, you know, do a lot less. Just because I guess, or, or you can take the chance, it's up to you. But uh, with big plus money plays, I always bet less just because they're obviously harder to hit. Uh, but yeah, let's get it. About the New York game, real quick. Uh, you can check out Isaac They got her number real low. I uh, get it at 15 plus for like minus 160 or... 16 and a half for uh, 110. She has been playing a little rough lately, but uh, that number's been at like 19 all year, and I expect her to show up and show out. I just didn't play it, and I always give you guys what I play. So that's something else you can look into. But uh, next game, Phoenix at Minnesota. Bridget Carlton, we've been playing this all year. Uh, three pointers over two and a half. Played on FanDuel, plus 140. Don't have bet 365 around that. Uh, it's been hit or miss. We've made a lot of money with it all year long. It's always been decent plus money, so she hits it, hits it, misses it, hits it. And then she started doing a hit-miss type of thing. And I uh, missed it a couple times, but then I caught the rhythm and I was catching it. Betting it every other day. But uh, playoffs starting, they're playing at home. Uh, she don't have a good history against this team, though, against Phoenix. But um, I'm just banking on her. She shot 40% for the year, 45% uh, from three-pointers from the year. I expected it to go over. They got uh, over one and a half at like minus 400. So, but uh, what you could do, I always give you the plays on bet. That's just how I operate. But uh, a safer bet could be her points. They got them at eight and a half. Uh, she don't only shoot threes, but she could easily catch this. Uh, this would be the safer play. I've said this before in the past, and the threes didn't hit, and the eight and a half has hit when they have it at eight and a half. 
So that could be the that is the safer play. Um, another play with her that I really liked. I just got a lot of money on football too, so I didn't pick too many plays. Uh, over three and a half rebounds and plus one oh eight. She's hit this sixty percent of the year. Now mind you, she didn't hit this the last four games, but it was her uh Chicago, um, Liberty, Connecticut, they're all decent, uh Los Angeles they're right rebounding, but and it was the end of the year. They were doing not really minutes restrictions, but you know, they weren't going as hard. So I like that play too, but uh a points line is probably the safest play. But three and a half for parcel one oh eight. She said it's sixty percent of the year. Phoenix overall ranked twelfth. That's the last place to rebound to the guard position that ranked twelfth. I've been playing that all year, guards against uh which that actually goes into my next play, so I'm gonna jump right into that. So I played her threes, but the other plays are the safer bet. My next play is if you've been watching, you know I've been doing this the whole year, well, second half of the year against Phoenix. I've been finding a guard because they're the worst and uh, they allow the most rebounds in the guard position. And uh, they got Kayla McBride at plus 265 for over three and a half rebounds. Now, I only put a little bit of money. I mean, my unit size isn't that big as it is, but I put less than my unit size on it. Uh, yeah, it looks crazy, right? But head-to-head, uh, -head, just gone over this three times. They played four times this year. And the one time she didn't go over it, she only played 21 minutes. So every other time they played this year, she's cashed this. And at that plus two something, I dropped $20. So what do I got to lose? If she hits it, you know, I triple my money. If she don't hit it, that's all right. But yeah, so uh, Kayla McBride, let's get them boards. Seattle versus Vegas. 10 o'clock game. Uh, I got Gabby Williams rebounds and assists over seven and a half. Uh, minus 122 Fanduel. Uh, Easy's out. She got a concussion. Rolled her out about an hour ago. Uh, she's a forward as well, so need a little more time for Williams. But uh, this is for the year. Minutes have ticked up since uh, September 11th on. And uh, I don't know when Easy got hurt. It could have something to do with it. I have no idea to tell you the truth. But uh, she cleared this last four games pretty easily. 12, 9, 10, 11. Uh, first Dallas, Los Angeles, first Vegas. She's cleared this. And then... Uh, Versus Phoenix. Uh, to the forward position. Rebounds allowed. They're ranked 12th. That's last place. Assists allowed. They're ranked 10th. So. Succeeded 7.5. Rebounds and assists. 5 of the last 6 games. Uh, head to head. She's only played them once this year. Like I said. She went over it. So yeah, let's get it. Gabby Williams, rebounds and assists over seven and a half. Uh, I liked her rebounds. I liked her assists. They're just like minus 160s, shit like that. You know, put them together. Uh, they're each at three and a half. So it's a half extra, but if she would, she would need four anyway, so I would put it over it anyway. So it uh, made sense to put them together. Connecticut, 3 o'clock game. Oh, I don't know how I got the Vegas game before this. But, uh, yeah, this one should have went before the Vegas game. I got uh, Karen Tim, points over 13.5, minus 128. 
FanDuel. Now for the year, it's about a 50% hit rate. Uh, very sporadic. I know I said if you've been watching, I was fading her. She gets under my skin. Like some days she's great, other days looks like she's trying to skip rocks in a pond. The way she throws is throwing layups. It's crazy. But uh, the one thing I do know about her is she hates Caitlin Clark. And every time they play, she ends up going over this. Play four times this year, four times she's went over this. Um, I expect Connecticut just to be too much for Indiana. I mean, maybe they can pull off a miracle, but I just think they're going to be too good. Um, yeah, and with the hate she has for her, it's, you know, more drive and determination, and it's a low number. It's not like it's 16. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Uh, she plays guard, forward, last place to the guard position, forward 10th, overall 11th, so they allow points. So, it uh, should be easy cash. Let's go. All right, last but not least, Marina Mabry. Uh, I play her assists over three and a half. If uh, you've been watching, you've heard me mention this before. Uh, plus 108, actually. Um, Fandle for the year. Now, she don't go much over it, usually by one, but she goes over it. I cashed it all these times. Missed it. Uh, then I started playing it here and there, but they stopped offering it. Or it got crazy juiced. But uh, for the year, 73% she's gone over this. It's plus 108, jumping on it. Uh, playing Indiana, ninth overall and assists allowed. The guard position, it does get worse, but it's all right. Uh, maybe has cleared this. They played four times this year. She's cleared it three. Only one of these times she was on Connecticut. Cause she came over at the end of August after the break. She was on Chicago before that. Uh, she exceeded three and a half assists four of the last five games. So yeah, I like to. Uh, I've been playing her points and shit for a while, but I feel like this is the best bet. Uh, if you could like the video, new viewers hit that subscribe button. Check out my NFL videos. Uh, also, if you could leave a comment, say anything. I don't care what you say. Likes and comments help get the videos out there. Uh, help get them get more traction. But uh, I do appreciate everyone who does. And uh, what else? Uh... Williams on uh, the fuck is her team? Minnesota. Uh, points lines at not, I think nine and a half, ten. I was gonna play that, but I only give you the plays I actually play. So I uh, can look into that, but uh, let's get it in the uh, football tomorrow. So this is gonna coincide with that. So I'm sure they're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of people watching, right? Ace money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Uh -huh.